In this instructional video, we will be assembling the telescoping pole of a lifetime streamlined basketball system. Your basketball system may look slightly different than the model shown in this video, but the steps performed will still apply. Start by locating the middle pole and top pole sections. The top pole is covered in plastic inside the middle pole. Keep the top pole inside the middle pole, but pull the top pole a few inches out of the bottom of the middle pole. If the poles become separated, insert the top end of the top pole up through the bottom of the middle pole. Slide the top pole up and out of the middle pole about 12 inches. Insert a carriage bolt through the hole near the bottom of the middle pole and secure it with a washer and cap nut. Note the head of the carriage bolt should be on the same side as the warning sticker on the middle pole. Align the hole near the bottom of the middle pole with the slit at the top of the bottom pole and slide the bottom of the middle pole over the bottom pole. Insert the screw through the countersink washer and into the hole and slit in the middle and bottom poles. This serves only to ensure the poles are properly aligned. The screw will spin freely once installed. Forcefully strike the bottom pole on a piece of wood or cardboard five to six times to seat the bottom pole. Turn the top pole to align its holes with those at the top of the middle pole. Insert the nut into the recess of the adjustment knob. Insert a carriage bolt through the holes at the top of the middle pole and top pole. Note the head of the carriage bolt should be on the same side as the warning sticker on the middle pole. Now secure the bolt with the hardware shown. In this instructional video, we will be assembling the pole to the base of a lifetime streamlined basketball system. Your basketball system may look different than the one shown in this video, but the steps performed will still apply. Attach the cross tube to the left and right bottom pole braces using the hardware indicated in the instruction manual. Note, do not over tighten the cap nuts. If necessary, insert the cross tube caps into the ends of the cross tube. Fit the bottom pole brace assembly within the recesses on the underside of the base. Then, with the base flipped up on its side, attach an upper pole brace to the base and bottom pole brace assembly. Flip the base over to repeat this for the other side. Line the holes in the pole up with the holes in the upper and lower pole braces. Now align the left and right feet with the pole and pole braces. Place the pole plug into the bottom of the bottom pole, oriented as shown. Insert the nut into the right foot, then install the bolt through the left foot and out the right side of the pole assembly. Next, attach the upper pole braces to the bottom pole using the hardware shown. To simplify this process, slide the barrel nut onto the long end of the hex key. Then insert the nut and key into the hole in the pole brace and the pole until the end of the hex key is visible through the other side. Now line up the end of the bolt with the end of the hex key and use that tool to guide the bolt through the pole to the barrel nut. Then tighten the hardware. To install the wheels, insert the axles provided into each wheel. Add a washer on both sides of each wheel. Now place the axle and wheel assemblies underneath the indentations at the back of the base. Then step on the base to snap them in place. In this instructional video, we will be assembling the backboard and rim to the pole of a lifetime streamlined basketball system. Your basketball system may look different than the one shown in this video, but the steps performed will still apply. Insert the rim into the slots of the backboard with the rim at a 45 degree angle so the brackets slide through the slots one at a time. The rim braces will fit within the notches along the bottom of the backboard. Bring the top pole into position on the back of the backboard between the rim brackets. Insert the longer carriage bolt into the rim on the front side of the backboard. 
and install the shorter carriage bolt directly through the backboard in the location shown. Secure the hardware. Please note a washer should be used only between the nut and the pole of the upper hole location. Now, secure the rim brackets and rim braces on the back of the backboard to the pole. Insert a bolt through the front of the backboard and out the other side. Slide the flat end of the backboard brace over the bolt on the back of the backboard and secure with the hardware shown. Next, secure the bottom angled end of the backboard brace to the pole. Repeat this to attach the remaining backboard brace to the backboard and pole. Make sure all hardware has been tightened before moving on to the next assembly section.